What's going on guys, Brent031. Recently I did a very comprehensive video over the Alice Pack. Now one of the things I pointed out in that video is if you don't have any experience with Alice Packs before, when you're buying Alice Packs, you're gonna notice that on the top lid, there's a rubberized coating. Now, this is a pretty mint Alice Pack, so everything's pretty intact. It was probably designed in the late 90s. But as you can see, the rubberized lining on the top of this lid, which gives you a little bit of water repellency for the internal components of your pack, is very much intact. But this typically isn't what you're gonna find. Typically what you're going to see is something like this. About 70 to 80% of the rubberized coating intact, and then you're going to see some cracks and some deterioration of the rubberized coating. And now it's, you know, it still offers you a little bit of water repellency, but not very much, all right? It's deteriorating, and it's ultimately going to end up like this. It's a very old Alice pack that I had. I've literally had this thing since I was a kid, playing war in the backyard and whatnot. And look, there's not an ounce of waterized or rubberized coating on this lid anymore, all right? So a few people commented on my previous video and uh, it was a fantastic idea. And what that idea was, was applying Flex Seal to the lid. So when I saw that, I've seen the commercials for Flex Seal, you know, guys repairing buckets and stuff. I was like, man, that should work, all right? So I went to Lowe's, found the Flex Seal for less than $13. I applied it to my house pad because I don't, I don't want to put out, you know, bunk word, guys. But let me tell you, this is legit, right? This stuff works. So I'm going to walk you through the process of doing this. Thanks to those three com commenters that uh, posted that. That's a fantastic idea. This stuff works and will definitely bring your Alice pack back up to 100% um, as it was originally designed. All right. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so the first step is we're gonna put something inside this lid. And that's, as you can see, he's got these seams here. So it's not a perfectly flat lid. You have to fill this up so that we can ensure that we cover all the surface area of the lid. So we're gonna open this up. I'm using a trash bag. The original commenter on my Alice Pack video said that he used bubble wrap. So just use whatever you want. Uh, but the main point here is that we're just trying to get something in there to fill out that lid. Got it in there. We're gonna secure it. Make sure none of the Velcro is showing because you don't want to paint that. All right. I'm gonna form it. All right, guys. So before I get started, I want to make sure I tuck in all my straps or anything else I don't want to get hit by the uh, actual flex seal when I start. I'm also gonna use something like a piece of cardboard or some sort of blocker that I can place here. So when I'm spraying my lid, only the uh, area I want to get hit by Flex Seal is going to get exposed. Uh, once I'm ready, I can go ahead and start spraying. All right guys, so I just finished my first coat of Flex Seal, so I'm gonna give it about an hour and then I'm gonna come out here and give it a second coat. I did two coats on my previous pack and uh, it turned out really well, so I think I'm gonna do that with this one. Uh, the can on the directions say give it about 24 to 48 hours to fully dry and uh, set in. So I think I'm gonna give it 24 hours and then I'm gonna come out here and I'm gonna hit it with some OD spray paint just to tie it in with the rest of the pack. Um, other than that, easy guys, easy day. All right guys, so I've given it 24 hours. This is uh, completely dry and uh, it feels great. So uh, just to kind of tie it in with the rest of the pack, I'm gonna take some of this Rust-Oleum OD camouflage spray paint and I'm gonna go ahead and go over this. All right, there we go, guys. All done. Just gonna let it dry now. All right, guys, so here's the final product. So I sprayed this Flex Seal, it dried, and then I went over it with some OD spray paint just to kind of tie it in. So as you see, the uh, it's pretty much completely restored this Alice Pack lid. It's given it a nice, solid, rubberized light coating that will uh, help protect against uh, rain. Um, inside it, you can see that that Alice Pack lid was so deteriorated, there was absolutely no rubberized coating left that you can actually see the black uh, flex seal sprayed from the inside so this is the second pack I did this is the original one I did when I first uh, you know, tested this out and man it just looks amazing so what a awesome awesome quick 
an easy replacement for this. Here's an original lid that is completely intact, no deterioration whatsoever, and it almost looks exactly the same. So I guess the last, last thing we gotta do guys is go ahead and test this out to make sure uh, you know no water is actually penetrating through. All right guys, so here's the final test. So I got uh, General Mattis, former Secretary of Defense. Put him under here, underneath the lid. my multi-million dollar rain generator. Here we go. See for protecting the old sick dev. Looks pretty good. There we go, guys. Awesome. Did not compromise. Look inside, guys. You can actually see some of the water in there. So the flex seal is definitely doing its job. One thing I want to add guys, since this is essentially talking about a waterproof lining for the top of your pack, is um, I forgot to put this in my original Alice Pack video, but these are liners for your exterior pockets on your Alice Pack. And these are the original ones that were issued back in the day, and uh, they work all right. You can get them pretty cheap. The only thing is, is these are a little dated, um, and with with time, just like the actual top lid on your house pack, these things deteriorate and they start smelling like vomit. <laughs> but they still work, all right? You can get some uh, unissued ones that, you know, will work fairly well and uh, definitely will keep your clothes um, or socks, whatever you got in there, dry. These are newer issue ones. These are uh, current issue United States Marine Corps. These are fantastic pieces of gear. You can hold a lot of stuff in them and again, they will fit perfectly in the exterior pockets of your house pack. Once you fill these up with, you know, your skivvies, your socks, whatever you're putting in there that you need to keep dry, you just roll it up, buckle it, and then you squeeze it, and it'll push that excess air out and make these really small and compact. So, again, uh, just want to throw that out there. I will have some links in the comment section if you're interested in, in something like this. So. Well, that's it guys, that completes this quick and easy fix for your Alice Pack lid to bring it up to 100% combat effectiveness. Once again, I want to thank those uh, original three commenters that gave me this great idea. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to leave a comment.